okay, let's solve this the third problem, which is this is a very classic, napa classic na tong problem na to. It's what's known as the Atwood's machine. So the Atwood's machine consists of two masses M1 and M2 that are joined by a rope that passes through a frictionless 2D. Maraming variations ang Atwood's machine, but we will first go with the simplest, um, which has a lot of assumptions. So first we draw a free body diagram. And then second, what is the tension on the wire? And third, what is the acceleration of the two masses? Okay. So I'll be giving you maybe a minute to solve this problem. Uh, actually, it's only one minute, so I'll explain to you. Na lang. Pero uh, just think of how to approach this problem. Okay. And um, after that, I will solve the equation, the problem for you. Okay. I hope you'll get some idea on how to solve this problem. This is a two-body problem. Two-body meaning... Um, uh, not the two body that uh, in classical in higher classical mechanics. This is a problem concerning with um, two objects. So you have two masses here, M1 and M2. Um, uh, for this particular example, we will assume may assumption tie Maramkay assumptions. Assumptions. So number one, uh, the pulley does not rotate. Number two, the 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 straight the, the ropes are taut and massless. Okay, may important yan. And then letter number three, uh, uh, M2 will go down, will accelerate downward. Okay. Yan yung assumption satin for this problem. Now, first, we will draw a free body diagram. Yun naman hinunong hinahanap. Draw a free body diagram. Okay. So, here, since we assume that the, pull does not, the pulley does not rotate, the tensions exerted at this rope and at this rope, they are the same. Eh, palang yung magiging direction nila by Newton's third law. Kung baga, ang ginawa mo lang, sinabit mo lang yung tension, tapos gumudulas lang yung rope dun sa pulley. Yun lang yung sa kanya. This is very simple. Of course, hindi yung totoo. Pwede kasing umikot yung pulley. So in that case, what happens is, you have a tension here, I have also a tension here, but they're the same in quantity. Now also, since tout yung string mo, the acceleration will also be the same. So same tension, same acceleration dun sa dalawang systems. So, so ang mangyayari lang, what are the directions? Yun ang interested tayo. So let's say, so we have same tension and acceleration at the two masses. Okay, now let's draw a free body diagram. a free body diagram. So what is the free body diagram of the first object of M1? What is the free body diagram? Actually, pares yung free body diagram nila. Ang mangyayari lang sa kanya ay meron kang tension sa taas, tapos may weight ka sa baba. Okay? May weight ka sa baba. So, ayan. Something like that. Tapos, I can put a really large dot. Uh, sorry. A really large dot here. Really large dot. So, this, um, uh, drawing na rin ako ng isa pang ganito para designs oras. Ganyan. Tapos, ganyan. Tapos, labelan ko na lang ng iba. Okay. Sige. Now. Okay. So, uh, ganyan. Tapos, ito. So this is this is um T e, uh tapos this is M1G tapos this is also T e, and this is M2G. Nakuha? Nakuha to? Yes sir. Yes sir. Now, ngayon, ngayon to, ang mangyayari, if A will go down, assuming that they are starting at rest, if A will accelerate down, what will happen to if if M2, sorry, if M2 will accelerate downward, what will happen to M1? Saan siya mag-accelerate? Huh? Upward. upward. Upward, exactly. So, ang mangyayari, you have an acceleration in this direction and an acceleration in this direction. So, this is for mass 1. This is for mass 1. So, FDD of mass 1. And this is the FDD of mass 2. Tama? So, yan yung magiging, magiging um, sagot mo dun sa free body diagrams. Now, now let's go to um, the equation of motion. We set up the equation of motion because what we want is to determine this tension here and this acceleration here. Yun yung hinahanap mo eh. So set up the equations of motion. So yan ito. Ilan yung magiging equations of motion dyan? Since there are two objects, you should have two equations of motion. So we have summation 
of forces acting on, no here dahil wala lang tayong pakialam sa direction. Now, here's the thing. So, dito sa first, ang gagamitin kong coordinate system, nakalimutang sabihin, use the coordinate system. Iba yung gagamitin yung convention. Where the acceleration is positive. Is positive. Okay? Yan yung gagamitin convention. There are other conventions that you can use. In fact, dun sa annotated lecture slides, iba yung gagamit, ginagamit yung convention doon. But I will use this one kasi mas madali siya apparently. So, at least for me, it's easier. Pero nonetheless, kahit anong convention mo naman, parehas lang lalabas sa sagot dyan. So, for, for the first mass, for mass 1, ano yung magiging equation of motion? So, summation of forces acting on y for the first object. So, ano yung magiging positive y? Di ba dito yung positive y ko sa, sa first mass? Tama? And therefore, this is simply equal to mass times acceleration, m1a, which is just equal to what? Equal to what? Tension. Tension t minus m1g. Tama? Tama? Yes. What about m2? Ito na, dito na nagkakaiba. Note here, I set my acceleration to be positive. Therefore, what's the positive y direction there? Downward or up upward? No? Downward. Downward, exactly. So you have summation of forces for y on the second object. It's simply still, this is still positive, but tension now here is, is, is it still positive or is it now negative? Huh? Negative. It's now negative. Therefore, I have an m2g minus t. Nakuha. Let's say this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Okay. So the, thus, we have an m1a equals t minus m1g, and then m2a equals m2g minus t. So, ah, uh, dito ko nalang ilagay equation 1 and 2. Now, what if I add them? If I add them, ano mangyayari? Ano mangyayari? If I add them? Matitira na lang po yung mass. Magka-cancel tong tension na to. That's exactly the reason why I use this convention. Because the tension will definitely cancel in this convention. And therefore, I can factor out my acceleration, a, quantity m1 plus m2, and then I have a G, quantity M1. Uh, sorry, this is negative, right? Negative yan, you have an M2 minus M1. And hence, the acceleration is simply G, quantity M2 minus M1, all over M2 plus M1. Tama? So this is the acceleration of the system. So yan. Ngayon, this is correct kasi I want my M2 to be, para bumagsak yung M2. Para siya yung, yung mag-accelerate downward, M2 should be greater than M1. Mas mabigat dapat si M2 kay M1. Kasi otherwise, this becomes negative. And therefore, our assumption on the direction of the acceleration is wrong. Hence, magbabaliktad ngayon yung direction of acceleration mo. That's why if M1 is greater than M2, so if M1 is greater than M2, A will be less than zero. Therefore, there should uh, the, the, the direction reverses. Now, what about tension? What about the tension? So, what about T? What about T? So, gawin ko, kopyahin ko lang tong equation na to. This two here. Kopyahin ko lang yan. Kasi, ayan yung gagamitin ko. So, what happens is, so I have a tension here. And then what I will do is, again, we solve our systems of equations. Ang gagamitin ko is, I will eliminate the acceleration. I can in principle substitute it in one of the equations, pero ang hassle kasi niya. Mas gusto ko na lang na i-sum na lang sila, and then the first one will be multiplied by m2, the second one will be multiplied by negative m1, and then I will add them. So ang mangyayari, I have an m1, m2e e, equals m2t minus m1, m2g, and then I have a negative m1, m2a equals a negative m um, 1, m2, g, my plus, this becomes negative times negative, positive na yan, m1, t. Tama? And then, what I will have is a sum. Magsasum yan, magka-cancel tong dalawang to, and I will get a zero is equal to, the tension here is common in these two, therefore I can add them. I have a t, quantity m1 plus m2, minus, I have an m1, m2, g, I have another m1, m2, g, therefore I have twice m1, m2, g, 2, m1, 
m2g. And hence, if I transfer this equation in the other side of the equation, I will get something like a tension equals to m1 m2g all over m1 plus m2. This is the tension that we want. Okay? Nakuha? Gets? Gets to? Nakuha to? Yes po. Okay. Now, pakitandaan niyang equation na yan. Okay. Pakitandaan niyang dalawang equation na yan. Let's solve. Nakuha tong problem na to. Did you get this? This is an important classic problem in mechanics. Uh, in, in physics 71 specifically. Okay. Now, uh, any questions in this item? None Wala? so far. None. 